Playing with Power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. Before we get into tonight's game, I wanted to ask a question. Do you have extra cards lying around that you don't use? Want to buy or trade for some extra cards but don't know how to maximize the value? Then you should try out today's sponsor, Card Conduit. Card Conduit is the best service when it comes to selling your extra cards. Don't waste hours trying to find the best buy list price for your cards online. Simply send them to Card Conduit and let them take care of the rest. I have used Card Conduit multiple times already. I always use them to get the best value for my extra cards. I get fair prices for my cards and they save me tons of time. They have three main services. Their standard service lets you send them your unsorted cards of any value. They will sort, grade, and give you the best price for your cards. Their curated service is similar. Send them your unsorted cards worth over a dollar in value. They will charge half the fee of the standard service and charge no fee per card. Their sorted service is a great value as well. Choose cards in advance with their selection tool, send them sorted to Card Conduit, and they will grade and buy list them automatically. Save yourself the time of having to send to multiple sites and let Card Conduit do it instead. Their fee is only 2% with no fee per card. They give you the best price for your cards. They work with competitive buy listing partners, including ones not open to the public. Users get an average of 19% more for their collection than they would from any major retail buy list, even with Card Conduit's fees. Card Conduit also optimizes buy listing for card condition as well. Since vendors have different penalties for wear and tear, Card Conduit will find the best buy list priced against the specific condition of the card. So give Card Conduit a try today. If you sign up with my link in the description below or use the promo code POWER, you will also get 10% off of their fees when you use their service. A big thanks to Card Conduit for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Zack, piloting the partner pair of Timna the Weaver and Krom Ludovic's Opus. This deck, known as Blue Farm, grinds advantage through its commanders and wins with a number of compact combos. Zack's opening hand contains the Volcanic Island, Mystic Remora, Miscast, Culling the Weak, Falwar Stone, Gamble, and a Cabal Ritual. Next, we have Jay, piloting Yison the Wanderer Bard. This is a toolbox deck that uses its commander to fetch combo pieces or silver bullets against its opponents. Jay's opening hand contains a Mana Crypt, Manglehorn, Nykthos, Shrine to Nyx, Court of Calling, Craterhoof Behemoth, and two Forests. After that, we have Travis, piloting the partner pair of Thrasios Triton Hero and Rograx, Son of Rogah. This deck seeks to cast its commander and polymorph into Hullbreaker Horror or Tidespout Tyrant to go infinite and win the game. Travis' opening hand contains a Misty Rainforest, Mana Crypt, Rhystic Study, Stomping Ground, Sylvan Library, Talisman of Curiosity, and a Felwar Stone. Finally, we have Kevin, piloting Kennen, Bonder Prodigy. This deck, called House of Mirrors, seeks to resolve its commander, generate infinite mana, and then put game-winning creatures onto the battlefield. Kevin's opening hand contains a Wooded Foothills, Breeding Pool, Incubation Druid, Lightning Greaves, Consecrated Sphinx, Island, and his London Mulligan is a forest. Without further ado, let's kick off this undeniable, unbelievable, uncanny undercurrent. Zack had the best sunburn tattoo and gets to start us off. Zack draws a card for turn and plays a Volcanic Island. He casts a turn one, Mystic Remora. The table sighs, and Zack passes the turn. Jay draws and plays a forest. He casts a Mana Crypt. Remora triggers and Zack draws. He casts his commander, Yisan the Wanderer Bard. Jay passes. Travis draws and plays a Misty Rainforest. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a tropical island onto the battlefield. He casts a Mana Crypt as well. Remora triggers and Zack draws. Travis casts a Rhystic Study and Zack draws from Remora. With two draw engines now on the battlefield, the table straps in and the turn moves to Kevin. Kevin draws and suggests everyone make a fish pack to ensure the draw engines do not get out of hand. The table agrees and Kevin plays a Wooded Foothills. He passes. During his upkeep, Zack pays to keep his Remora. He draws, misses his land drop, and passes, discarding to hand size. During his upkeep, Jay loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He draws and plays a Forest. He ends his turn. During his upkeep, Travis loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He draws and casts his commander, Rograx, son of Rogah. He ships the turn to Kevin. Kevin draws, plays a forest, and passes. During his upkeep, Zack lets his Remora die. He draws and casts a gamble. Rhystic triggers and, in response, Jay activates Yisan for one, fetching up an Allosaurus Shepherd onto the battlefield. Then Travis draws from Rhystic and Gamble resolves. Zack fetches up a card into his hand and then randomly discards a Cabal Ritual. He plays a Badlands and passes the turn. During his upkeep, Jay loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He draws and plays a Forest. He casts Manglehorn, paying the Rhystic tax. It enters and destroys Travis's Mana Crypt. He moves to combat and attacks Zack with Yison and Allosaurus Shepherd. Zack takes it and Jay gives the turn to Travis. Travis draws and pays 2 life to cast Jataxian Probe, targeting Kevin. He looks at Kevin's hand and draws a card. He casts a Soul Ring. He casts a Lotus Petal. Travis gives the turn to Kevin. Kevin draws and also pays 2 life to cast Jataxian Probe, targeting Zack. Rhystic triggers and Travis draws. Then Kevin looks at Zack's hand and draws a card. He plays a Breeding Pool into play untapped, paying 2 life. 
He casts an Incubation Druid and Travis draws from Mystic. He cracks his wooded foothills, pays a life, and fetches up a tropical island onto the battlefield. With nothing else, Kevin passes. Zack draws, takes no actions, and passes. During his upkeep, Jay wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and plays a Nykthos, Shrine to Nyx as his land for turn. He activates Yuzon for two, fetching up a Collector Roof onto the battlefield. He casts a Court of Calling, where X equals five. Rhystic triggers, and Travis draws. In response, Zack flashes in a Dress Down, and Travis draws again. Dress Down enters, and Zack draws. With Cord still in the stack, Kevin casts Force of Will, paying a life, exiling Thassa's Oracle, countering Court of Calling. Jay passes, and Dress Down is sacrificed. Travis draws and plays a Bloodstained Mire. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Volcanic Island onto the battlefield. He passes, discarding to hand size. Kevin draws and casts its commander, Kinnon, Bonder Prodigy, paying the Rhystic Tax. He casts Lightning Greaves, and Travis draws from Rhystic again. He moves to combat and attacks Zack with Kinnon. Zack takes it, and Kevin chips the turn to Zack. Zack draws and plays a Polluted Delta. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up an Underground Sea onto the battlefield. He casts a Rhystic Study of his own. Rhystic triggers, and Travis draws. Rhystic resolves, the rest of the table gets worried, and Zack passes to Jay. During his upkeep, Jay loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes three damage. He draws and activates Yisan for three, fetching up a Circle of Dreams Druid onto the battlefield. He moves to combat and attacks Kevin with Oof and Manglehorn. Kevin takes it, and Jay ends his turn. Travis draws and plays an Arid Mesa. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Steam Vents onto the battlefield untapped, paying two life. He casts his other commander, Thrasios, Triton Hero. Rhystic triggers, and Zack draws. He passes, discarding to hand size. Kevin draws and plays an island. He moves to combat and attacks Zack with Kennen. Zack takes it, and Kevin ships the turn. During his upkeep, Zack casts Mystical Tutor. Rhystic triggers, and Travis draws. Then Zack fetches up a dam onto the top of his library. He draws and plays a Scrubland. He casts his commander, Timna the Weaver, and Travis draws from Rhystic. With nothing else, Zack passes to Jay. During his upkeep, Jay loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes three damage. He draws and plays a Forest for turn. He activates Yisan for four. In response, Kevin adapts Incubation Druid, adding three plus one plus one counters. Still in response, Kevin casts Worldly Tutor. Both Rhystic's trigger and Travis and Zack draw. Then Kevin fetches up a Seedborn Muse onto the top of his library. Then Yisan resolves and Jay fetches up a Teemer Sabertooth onto the battlefield. Next, Jay casts Crater Hoof Behemoth. Rhystic triggers and Travis and Zack draw. Crater Hoof enters and Jay's creatures get plus seven plus seven and gain trample until the end of turn. He moves to combat and attacks Travis with Crater Hoof, Manglehorn, Oof, and Allosaurus Shepherd. In response, Travis casts Chain of Vapor targeting Crater Hoof. Rhystic triggers and Zack draws. Crater Hoof bounces and Travis takes the rest. With nothing else, Jay passes the turn. Travis draws and plays a Training Center. He casts a Mystic Remora. Rhystic triggers and Zack draws. Remora resolves and Travis passes, discarding the hand size. Kevin draws and casts Consecrated Sphinx. <laughs> the table groans and Kevin passes. During Zack's draw step, Kevin draws two through Consecrated Sphinx. Zack plays a Wooded Foothills for turn. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a plateau onto the battlefield. He casts an overloaded dam. Mystic and Mystic trigger, and Travis declines to draw due to Consecrated Sphinx. In response, Jay activates Teamer Sabertooth, bouncing Circle of Dreams Druid, giving Teamer Sabertooth indestructible until the end of turn. Then Dam resolves, destroying all creatures. Zack passes, discarding to hand size. During his upkeep, Jay loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes three damage. He draws and casts a Jeweled Lotus. Remora and two Rhystics trigger, he pays for both Rhystics, and Travis draws from Remora. He casts Circle of Dreams Druid and both draw from Rhystic. He cracks his Lotus to help recast his commander, Yisan, and both draw from Rhystic again. He moves to combat and attacks Travis with Teamer Sabertooth. Travis takes it, and Jay passes the turn. During his upkeep, Travis lets his Remora die. He draws and casts Underworld Breach, paying the Rhystic tax. In response, Zack casts Force of Will, paying a life, and exiling a blue card, paying for Rhystic. In response, Travis casts Flusterstorm with all copies targeting Force. Rhystic triggers and Zack draws. Force of Will is countered, and with Breach still in the stack, Zack casts Pact of Negation. In response, Travis casts a Swan Song. Swan Song counters Pact, and Zack creates a 2 2 bird, and Underworld Breach resolves. Travis escapes Mana Crypt, and Zack draws from Rhystic. In response, Alan casts Force of Vigor for its alternate cost, exiling a green card, targeting Underworld Breach, and Travis's Rhystic Study. Both Rhystic's trigger and both draw. In response, Travis casts an Offer You Can't Refuse, and Zack draws from Rhystic. Force of Vigor is countered, Alan creates two treasures, and Mana Crypt resolves. Travis casts a Mox Opal, and Zack draws again. He casts a Lion's Eye Diamond, and Zack draws. He casts his commander, Rograk, son of Rogah, paying the Rhystic tax. He cracks his Lion's Eye Diamond, discards his hand, and adds three blue. He escapes Polymorph, and Zack draws. In response, Zack casts Force of Negation, exiling a blue card, countering and exiling Polymorph. Next, Travis escapes LED. He cracks it for three blue. He escapes LED again, Zack draws, and then he cracks it for three red. He casts Divergent Transformation, targeting both Rograk and Jay Zeson, and then Zack draws from Rhystic. 
Both are exiled and Jay reveals a Priest of Titania and Travis reveals a Hullbreaker Horror. Travis escapes LED and Zack draws. Hullbreaker Horror triggers, bouncing Travis's Rhystic. He cracks it for 3 green. He escapes LED. Hullbreaker Horror triggers, bouncing his Mana Crypt. He casts Mana Crypt, bouncing his Mox Opal. Travis presents a loop of floating mana with both of his rocks and repeatedly bouncing them through Hullbreaker Horror over and over. He then generates infinite mana. He casts his commander, Thrasios, Triton Hero. He activates Thrasios with his infinite mana, drawing his deck and putting all lands onto the battlefield tapped. He casts Lightning Bolt, targeting Jay. He casts Noxious Revival, putting Lightning Bolt back on top of his library. He draws Lightning Bolt with Thrasios and then casts it again, targeting Jay again. He casts Turn the Earth, shuffling both Lightning Bolt and Noxious Revival into his library, then draws both again through Thrasios. He presents another loop of casting Lightning Bolt on each opponent, then looping it with Turn the Earth and Noxious Revival. He does this over and over, until the table is dead, and Travis wins the game. Ladies and gentlemen, what a game. Congrats to Travis on his win. He was able to navigate the table and work around Rhystic and Mystic triggers all while waiting for his opportunity to win. He was able to fight through a lot of the interaction and then closed it out in great fashion. The most valuable card in tonight's game, sponsored by Luxury Playstyle, goes to Manglehorn. This piece was doing so much more than people were expecting. Every time someone was discarding the hand size, they were discarding artifacts in those piles. Manglehorn was slowing down the table and Travis could not win through it with his Hullbreaker line. It was only when the board was white and Manglehorn was off the table did anyone attempt to win. Well that about wraps it up for this episode. Tune in next time and we duke it out to see who will be king of the competitive EDH table. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time.